this was a purple bloom, so we'll see if I can get it to bloom again. Uh, it really needs to be watered too, so I'm sorry, air plant. Way in the back here, you can't really tell too well, but I have a string of turtles. They are so adorable. Get a little closer here, as you can tell. The little leaves look like turtles. It's so cute and I love it so much. I also have a string of pearls. It's quite long now. When I got it first, it wasn't nearly so long. And I've actually had a previous string of pearls that I killed. I way overwatered it. These like to be watered very sparingly. So, sorry if this is a little shaky, but up top I have a plant that's nicknamed a calico kitten, I believe. In the day, this is such a beautiful plant. It's got these purplish pink leaves and it's gorgeous. I found this at Lowe's and it was mostly dead, but I knew I could make it gorgeous and full. So that's what I've done. I know it's just so hard to tell in this lighting, but this really is such a gorgeous plant in sunlight. So this is not the last plant section. We have one more to check out. Let's go. Next, I have this propagation box. I learned how to do this from Harley G. I have some Monstera Silta Pagana there that has just taken off in here. I have some uh, Philodendron Brazil cuttings and then some Skin Dapsis cuttings in the back. I'm not quite sure if there's anything else in here, to be honest. Oh, in the back, I also have a... Uh, oh, I'm blanking on the name. Um, it's a velvety bothos. I can't remember it and I'm so sad because I love it so much. I haven't seen it in a while though because it started to die off and so I've stuck it in here to propagate. Shoot, maybe someone can think of it in the comments. I apologize. But there's a little if you want to learn how to make one of these, go to Harley's channel. I have plant lights here. It gets air every so often. I've closed it recently. I like to just one day have it closed, the next day open it. There's a little um, thing of water in there and it's in this sphagnum moss as well. So easy. So now I apologize if there's some shakiness, I'm holding the camera. This is in my filming room. I've made this little makeshift greenhouse for my more finicky plants, my plants that really like humidity. So in here, I just unclip this and it reveals my little greenhouse. In here, I have a philodendron Florida Ghost, a very, very beautiful plant. It's been very good to me. Over here, I have a philodendron crystallinum. I believe it's crystallinum or clarinervium. I think crystallinum. Right here is one that was on my wish list for a while. This is a philodendron varicosum. It's stunning, you guys. Love this one. This little guy in the back is a philodendron cream splash. He looks so sad. This right here, if you are into house plants, you've probably heard of this. It's a uh, philodendron pink princess. Really excited to see the growth I get on it this summer. Hopefully it grows a lot. Right here, Right here I have a Rapidophora cryptantha. I believe it's 
places. And last but not least, I have my Hoya section along with my only succulent. There's my only succulent. In the back, I've got these um, Hoya Hindu ropes. That's a little baby I took off of it. Right here is a Hoya Publicalix. This started off as just a little cutting that Harley G gave me, and it's grown so much. In the back, I have some Hoya dry colors. They love this area, all of these Hoyas. They've got really bright light from my plant light. It's actually an aquarium light and humidity from my humidifier. There we go. So that is almost all of my plants. I have three more snake plants. Um, I have a Dracaena marguerite, I think it's pronounced. Uh, three more peperomias. Actually, another snake plant and another ZZ. Some of those are on my windowsill. But that area is kind of dirty, and I thought that I would just stop the video here so it's not too long and hopefully not too boring for you. Let me know how you liked this type of video. I love making these videos. They're 